All right, we're all gonna rye. It is time to prevent the world from going awry. Mm. It's actually Ari. I, I no, I don't, I don't think it is. I would have to disagree. No, no, it's not. And double you. Cup dropper. Stricker. 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 Mm. New wave striker. Do so it. I think we're gonna do it on easy. No, no, no. <laughs> I've never seen easy to be honest. Appropriate for players new to tactical games or XCOM in general. Uh, I'm really tempted to do it on classic, but uh, the problem is, for one thing, I haven't beaten it on classic, and two, uh, the amount of planning that I put into the tactical game in planning is just not suitable for the format of HPA. That's going to take way too long. Yeah, no, like I will sometimes put the controller down and actually examine the whole battle. Well, as the saying goes, two minds are better than one, and there's five of us here. I don't think the world agrees with that at yeah. all. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like super experienced. Uh, my so my vote's for classic it. if it does have any constellation. My vote is also for classic, but I see, I normal. see, classic. But that's also because I want to see an end to this at a somewhat reasonable time. I know on normal that I this will see. go until you possibly beat the game or we stop it. You see, that's also the difference too, because classic, I always, I've played it on Iron Man, obviously, but I always have to play it like perfectly. Like, I had to have everything, and losing guys was a big deal, but I could just, you know, throw you down play Iron Man. Or I could just do it on easy. Nah. Alright, no. well, no. I, I guess we'll throw it on classic. Oh, come on, what? We don't get a vote? What? what? No, that was the normal. vote. The vote was classic. <laughs> okay, what did you vote to vote for? I voted for normal. Oh, did you go for normal? Well, we're, we're I think this was classic. easy. Too late. Now, I've only beaten the game on North America. I liked it the best. And only it was normal. my first choice, yes, and it was on normal. However, the the time on my classic Iron Man that I got the farthest, I was also in North America. I tried classic Europe and classic Africa and did not have a very good result. What about South America? No. Why not? Unfortunately, South America has two of the lowest funding countries in the world, as well as having only two countries and the bonus Autopsy interrogations is only helpful. But there were more than two countries in South America. America. Oh, so what you're saying is that even like there, there is only so many uh, autopsies and investigations, and once that's over, it's useless. Exactly. Right? However, North America, you will always have to pay for the aircraft and stuff. Well, what about uh, what's uh, Europe again? Europe's pretty good. Laboratories, and workshops, fifty percent less to build and maintain. And so you can get these bon- you can get these I bonuses. Think, think you can get good. these bonuses even without your base being there if you put all the satellites. Yeah. On. Yeah. Oh really? However, the thing is though, with the country you start in, you don't have to have complete satellite coverage. Yeah, exactly. You and that's why I like right away. Africa because Africa's really good. Monthly XCOM funding, thirty percent increase. So you're getting way more money. Like the first month or two, you don't see a difference, but by month five, you're making almost two grand. Mm-hmm. And it's awesome. You have huge bucks. South Africa, then. Uh, Asia, I like the idea of putting it in Asia, but that is also... Wow, um, actually, that, that could save you a lot yeah, of it, money. It saves though. you a lot of money, but the problem is mostly late game. I, 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 much prefer, <laughs> I much prefer putting satellites in Asia and earning that. Can we all vote again? Okay. Uh, North America. No, yeah, I'm gonna go North America. For Jeez, one thing, uh, I'm a yeah. huge American patriot. Second thing, uh, this, the United States is the biggest funding country in the world, and starting with a satellite on it is a huge advantage. Where does Canada sit in funding? The second best. The drop site for this operation. Canada is a hun- <laughs> is one of the hundred hundred uh, credit countries. We're going to Calgary, which is pretty good. You know, you know that you know that that big famous cemetery in Calgary that also happens to be in China and also happens to be in Brazil that also happens to be in Japan <laughs> yeah. or wherever it gets randomly generated. No. Yeah. Oh no, you don't know that one. This is central. You are free to engage all hostile contacts in the area. Don't take any chances. All right, so we don't need to. We are restrained to the action here, world. You played this. Many a time before the first mission. I, I'm going to be honest. I'm going to try and play this much, much looser than I usually play classic. I'm probably going to try and play it a little normal. Okay. But remember, you are on a classic. I know. I know. <clears throat> you got okay. So what do you got here? Petra's hunt. All right. Here we go. Never before seen in recorded history. 
You must be able to see them by someone must be able to see them, right? Mm -hmm. Why do you say that somebody be able to see them? Because the the music is cut in and the and the comment about the aliens seeing aliens has appeared. So. Oh okay. Maggie Murphy, that's an American. Yeah. Could be an Irishman. Hmm? She could be Irish. What about Israel? Murphy? Murphy. Israeli? <laughs> yeah. Murphy, no. No? It's not Israeli. Maybe they're kind of. Hey, wait a minute. They can phase through matter? Well, yeah, they can shoot through it. Fair enough. You see, unlike in normal, now that that set of enemies can see me, those other enemies will also know where I am and can come fight me. Like, you, think, you, you, you think that actually behaves differently in normal? Oh mode? yeah, like, like in normal mode, you only engage those people that you have discovered. They otherwise pretty much stand there and wait for you. Hey, world. Um, when the guys get promoted, can they move further? Uh, There's a perk know. that allows some of that, that allows yeah. support to move further. Okay. I mean, we haven't even gone into the, 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 the customization and, and upgrading of soldiers in the base. All that's still to come. Damn it. You got shot too? Wow, they only have three health. Bogus. Oh yeah, they only have three on Classic, huh? Mm -hmm. And your guys get five. Oh yeah, no, this could be bad. If, you, if these guys don't make their shots, you're probably just going to lose it right here. I'll shoot through like three grenades. Why? Well, yeah, yeah, no, trust me, I'm going to throw the grenades. This is one of those times where it's completely okay. But oh. they get their free They were like, we probably should have done that. Let's go back to that. Yeah, they're, they're probably thinking... It's cold out here. <laughs> and I don't want to get warmed up by a grenade. <laughs> Thing is, I'm so scared of moving too, because if I try and egress in this direction, I could run into Another more guys, move, yeah. and it's just like, oh man, because I've done that before. But you, 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 you know there's six, right? Yeah. So there's three in the building, and there's, there's how many? Three over there. There. There's three over there, so that's all of them, right? Yeah. So there shouldn't be any, there shouldn't be any over there. I'm going to run with that. <laughs> I just like to say, I'm quoting you. I know, <laughs> I know, I know. <laughs> <laughs> Liability confirmed, you know. Rolling. Wait, and yeah, all your soldiers have 5 HP. Yeah. Wow. That's a huge shift in balance already. Uh, a little bit, yeah. You're no longer on even ground, you're... You've got a bit of an edge on them. In terms of durability. Their weapons are still better than yours. Well, it's shooting through steel and stone. You can do that with bullets, too. Future bullets. Run forward and shoot them with a grenade. Fucking go for it. Probably gonna miss. Oh, he pulled it off. The Canadian! I say the Canadian. That's not, what's his name? Raw Hunt. <laughs> Give that man a medal. Hunt? Oh, I missed that. I missed Bravo. that bit of dialogue. It's saying that the, the weapons have like something to self destruct. I just thought it's like in the process of defeating the alien, you blew up the weapon. Huh. If I'm just like, why do, Why is it when I do it was a mind blast or something to destroy them, but the weapon still blows up? But that makes sense. Gotta keep Canadian alive. Sometimes you're not gonna be able to make that call. I'm on the move. Peggy Murphy. Come on, you gotta keep him alive. With a, with a last name like Hunt, he's gonna have a kick-ass nickname. Oh, oh shit. You, put his, you put him in harm's way. It's cool, he's got like that hero, the hero aura around him. Shitty though, he's still in view. Mm. Hey, no. He's gonna 
gonna get shot. He's gonna get shot. That guy down there? Yeah. What do his elf eyes see? <laughs> Cyrano. Cyrano. Oh. Cyrano sounds way cooler. Way cooler. Oh. Fuck, man. Bet you can't wait till they're not rookies. And they'll have a shot. Oh no, but he took a move. He makes a double move. Oh, okay, but here comes the shot. He's gonna have a shot. Yeah, he's got a shot. No! He's mine oh, he's mine. The mind meld. That means somebody over here could die. My mind to your mind. My oh, yeah, he's making a shot. Oof. Ah. Was that the Canadian? Yeah, yep. that was the Canadian. Oh, he's alive. He looks happy. Where's the, where's the one who controlled it, right? If you can kill him. Oh, he's got the shot. 45% too? If you move closer. Full cover, buddy. Yeah, buddy. Are you willing to sacrifice him to some extent? Like sacrifice? Yeah, he probably I, won't die. I, but yeah, if I can get that grenade off though. Oh, oh grenade, yeah, do it. yeah, the grenade will take both of them. It'll take all three he, out, man. Yeah. Oh, oh no! No! Miss it! Miss it! Yeah! Oh! Oh! Uh oh! Oh! Uh, he's golden. He's golden. Wow! Into the end zone. Oh! Thank you. It's good. Mr. Hangana! Touchdown! Oh, damn. The cover's gone up in the tomb. Oh, oh, shut the fuck up. Oh, just straight killed that guy? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Even though he had full health? His mind, like, burns out. Oh, if you... I didn't know that. Which we, we did tell you. Yeah, I thought you, like, it takes with a hit point that it was Oh, no, no, no. It, it kills the guy oh, that he's playing with. Oh, my God. It doesn't work in reverse, though. If you kill the guy who's yeah, being yeah. too, it doesn't kill the host. Still, man, that's fucking amazing. That's a three part. The guy that's flanked, does it have like a higher chance still? I I don't know. I, I really don't. If you guys all make these shots, you Everyone. will all make it home. Like, what are you telling to hunker down? Or what no, no, I, no, everybody no, has no, to make no, their no, shot. No, everybody no. has to make their shot. If everybody makes their shot, then they're good. They're golden. It's all up to the Canadian. It comes down to this. Can you lob a nade? Uh, uh, one no. more, more, I doubt it from that distance. That would be epic, though. Yeah, but no, I mean, had you moved him all the way up, could you lob the Canadian? It's up to the Canadian. He goes up for the shot. It's yeah. good! Yeah. You can see the look in his eyes, he's like, Come here, you fucking infidel. That was epic. We are on high alert. Yeah. Shots all around. Yeah. I hope he got. I hope he made support for that. For the game? Yeah. Why? why? This, like the you see them. At, you see them as they as they like do stuff, and you see what they should be. Yes, definitely. Okay. I, like I don't know what makes him what makes him a support more than a assault in that case. Uh, there's a thin line bes between support and assault. Oh yeah, Officer they have Bradford. To work together. What do you know? He does say. He I, does think, I think the dude who lobbed the grenades is an assault situation. Yeah, that would make or sense. Or hopefully, yeah, heavy. I my my heavies take grenades. So they get the double grenade. Yeah. Oh, I actually don't take the double grenade. I take danger zone because I suppress so much. Sorry, you take danger what? zone. <laughs> Danger zone. Oh, he did make heavy. Oh no, Hunt made heavy. Ah. Hunt made heavy? Petrus, the guy who threw the grenade made support. Yeah, but Hunt is. Oh no, Hunt Ghana made sniper? How do how he threw a grenade? How did he make shame <laughs> on you Okay, gone. so I think I think that confirms <sighs> that it is completely it's random. Completely random, yes. <laughs> Service to the squad. Well, he looks cool with the rocket launcher. Yeah, it looks cool yeah, with the, the Canadian flag. I, I love watching, like when they, I love watching a heavy like go up a ladder because so you see both their weapons the dangling board. behind them. And yeah. you just got some good physics with that. World, have you ever made a medic support? Oh yeah. On classic, you have to, man. You seriously like need all, it. All, all my supports are medics. On normal, I didn't need it at all. I was completely fine. I never used a med kit. But on classic, it's pretty, pretty requisite. Do we watch this already? No, I skipped it. Hello, Commander. 
My name is Dr. It's, it's pretty not important, I but the research it's pretty important. I like to watch this it in the news. This is where all of XCOM's research and development takes place. We have already begun... Really? Is that this, this small team develops the game? Is that that guy playing Galaga? Yeah. We believe we can use them to develop some new equipment for our soldiers. With your approval, we will begin research immediately. Well, you don't have my approval. In fact, I don't believe in research. Oh, action! I believe that God put all the aliens here. I don't believe in science. Sorry. Well, I'm an evolutionist. Yeah. Or in other ways. Yes, it's great. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm Christian. Thank you very much. Commander, I realize our troops have. That's good. I like this guy. Be stopping by. He's half blue. He looks like a Henry. Hey, Bess, does he sound like the Chinese guy from Drama Initiative? And I mean, from, from all I've learned about engineers versus scientists, from being trained to become an engineer, yeah. the difference between the scientist and the engineer in this game is it, it is exactly what is, is right. Because the scientist is like, oh, well, we need to do this, we must do this, even though it's, and does that doesn't care about the danger or the ethics or the morality. The engineer is just like, are you really sure we want to go in that way? Like, they have to ask, engineers have to ask those questions. They have to be ethical. Huh. Uh, oh, I know you don't like that. It's so far down, too. Yeah. What's, what are you trying to look at? Uh, so, the, be the best source of power besides, like, a really expensive thing is to, build, generator. is to build a thermal generator, which you can only build on steam spots. And unfortunately for world, that is down as far as it can go, and as you go deeper, it becomes more expensive. Yeah, yeah. Also, different changes on classic from normal. No officer training school. What? There's no officer training? On classic, right, you right, don't well, start with it. You have to wait for a guy to get sergeant before you can get it. Oh, okay. And then you have to build it. And also, you only start with one satellite on, on uh, classic. You don't get an extra Literally. satellite to oh, deploy. You, got a, you, get a you have to make off. it. Alright. Yeah, let's go to the barracks. Unfortunately, only one of your only one of your guys who got promoted is is gonna be with you. Oh no, I guess they could come back and take a mission before the first mission, but they probably won't. Alright, so yeah, first customization. This is the pack you were talking about, World? Yeah, yeah. so so this is the equivalent of their online pass. That that was in heavy air quotes. Mm -hmm. Um heavy. Like bold. bold. That's sick. Yeah, just playing black is pretty cool. Uh, without this, what, you you don't get any color customization or yeah, armor no, no, customization. No. It has to look like this all the time. You can't change it. Anyway, yeah. I like this one the best. Yes. That's for this cool. class, it's it's like pretty military. I don't know. I like the one with the well, especially for the sniper. I think all of the bullets on the uh, shoulder pads are kind of cool. Oh yeah, the this one. Yeah. yeah. Hmm. He's like he's got the rounds ready to pop out. Right? This is purely cosmetic, right? Yes. Yeah. 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 Those grenades look so cartoony. Oh yeah. It's like Team Fortress, man. Well, you, you're not into helmets? Nah. I'm totally into helmets. It's just fun to see the female body frame literally just twice as small. <laughs> yeah, but I, I, I think I've asked this question, but I, I, you didn't know the answer at the time, and I'm pretty sure you still don't. Any difference between male and female? No. Okay. Well, once a month to get like plus critical. <laughs> <laughs> Ew. Mm. Yeah, I, I like having like a whole like uh, rainbow assortment of, of characters. How many different colors are there? Thir uh, Thirty-two. Oh. Okay. But the, in my opinion, it's really like sixteen, but with like each each color has like two different kind of like sub like it has like a different sub color to it. Right. Right. So it's like sixteen primary colors and then Commander, some sub ones. We picked up multiple requests for assistance. Abductions in progress are marked on the hollow globe. Scientists. See, four. this really kind of sucks, and I'm sure the game knows this. What? Because my choice is between the reward, 
since all the countries are pretty much the same at the start in terms of panic, you can choose which one you want based on the reward and difficulty. Difficulty has never mattered to me. It's really just one of those things where it's like, well, fuck. Or it's like, oh, well, it's sweet. I, I, I truly Easy. don't know what, what, what the difference How many means. guys? There I don't know what it means. Is it how many? Yeah. Like, for instance, on normal, uh, uh, an easy one or whatever is like three guys. On classic, it's six. So you That's apply easy. that logic. Every time the difficulty increases, it's another one of those units. So this would have nine? Yeah, something like that. So what what do you what do you think about you, like are the engineers even like in your mind right now? Or are you just gonna you start off with five engineers and five scientists, but you need engineers the most right away at the start of the game. You need engineers because they'll help you build a satellite uh, uplink, yeah. and they'll also decrease the cost of satellites and other stuff, other equipment. So is that what you think about right now? Is yeah, you, but it's yeah. also the most difficult. Yeah, sure. However, conveniently, it's also the highest panic. Mind you, it's not it's not very difficult. It's just difficult. yeah. Like the 200 bucks, I don't really need it. It'd be nice and scientists, eh. But anyway, so we'll look at the engineers then. We go to Leeds, yeah. UK. These are these are none of the guys that you just customized. Yeah. No. no yeah. Yeah, they are. Oh, are they? Yeah. Oh, you give them all the same color. Oh, oh yeah, definitely. definitely. Oh, uh, yeah, sorry. You, I, like I said, I'm. <laughs> that doesn't make any sense to me. Only, <laughs> only one of them's from the previous mission, though. Uh, yeah. Two of them. Uh, one oh yeah, one. yeah, Murphy. Oh, yeah, right. But Murphy didn't get a didn't get a. Can we determine what country Murphy was from? Scotland. Is that what that is? Yep. Yeah, I have no idea. That's where that flag yeah, is. I'm, I'm really bad with flags. This place, I don't I know. I have no idea. Jamaica, Nigeria. No. No, no, that's France. Yeah. Gaston. <laughs> that's uh, Australia. Australia. Yeah. Aaron White. Let's see who else I got in here. Russia, Afghanistan. Two Russians. Afghanistan, I think this is. I have no clue. No idea what this one is. Bangladesh? I don't know. I don't know. Russia, Germany. Do you only know. get guys from countries that are represented in the. No, because oh. there is no Afghanistan. Yeah, yeah. There's okay. no, yeah. Syria. Yeah, that's what, maybe that's what this is. I don't know. You should bring Victor with you, Malakov. Let's check if there's any. The Russian Storm Squad? Four, four, four. Oh, they gave me a bunch of four. Oh no, those are fives. The original crew I rolled out with was all fives. Why does it say two out of five? Because uh, that shows his current health of five. See, he's wounded, so it's like what his health is. You can watch the recovery. Oh, okay. But I mean, why would you ever look at the HP when you can just look at how long it'll take until they're back? Because it really doesn't matter. Yeah, I don't know. Okay. It's just, not, it's just a useless piece of information. What was the first perk for the uh, support? Uh, uh, smoke smoke grenade. grenade. Yeah. Okay. So Murphy has like a aura around her. She got like aura, aura of smoke. heroes. Oh, she got like quite literally smoke coming out from around her. What does that mean? She smokes a lot. She just keeps lit cigarettes all around her. The next deployment Whoa, site is in the I don't know if I've ever seen this one. Ooh, this one can be balls. Oh, is this like the train yard? It tend no, it's the top of a construction building. I've never seen this one yet. There's, like, if it's the way I think, it's not that I don't like it, it's just, well, I'm going to encounter them, like, first turn. It's one of those maps where you oh, yeah. tend to encounter them, like, first turn. And like I said, and like you previously said, you don't like them. Will you ever come out of the ship like that and like already see them? No, but there is some maps where you'll come out and you'll like move like this far and you'll see them. So snipers are tricky in a way because you cannot move and fire in the same turn. Moving. At the start. I've got my eyes on. Or ever, depending on how you spec. Yeah, fair enough. Oh man, give me Arch, Arch, Archangel or Armor to my sniper was the best decision I think I've ever made. Look, there's pigeons. So 
rats in the sky. See everybody on Overwatch? I can just see a grenade just messing you up real good. Oh, they put it on. But I guess there's probably nothing that's gonna throw a grenade at you this early on. There you go. Some of the maps are definitely way bigger than others, right? Oh uh, yeah. Like this is a relatively small one. But it's the small ones that are the most intense. Oh yeah. Is that your sniper? No. She's some chick you pulled off the front line. She's exposed when they counter yeah. attack. What was that sound? Let's see, have mind control on anybody? Does he have a shot from there? Oh fuck. Height advantage. Yeah. Ah, uh, at least it was a mess. Does, does and he blew up have, part of his cover. Does distance have anything to do with accuracy in this game? Yes. Uh, somewhat, but not for sniper rifles. Uh, Yes. Sniper rifle. Well, closeness for sniper rifles. Yeah. I'm on it, Commander. Moving out. Yeah. If you're for some reason, if you're too close to the sniper, your actually your accuracy actually goes down. I've got my eyes on. I mean, like I kind of get it, but. Not really. Come on, attack you, motherfuckers. There we go. Oh, nice, one of them had it. I, I think it's really cool when they do like the reaction shots at the same time, that doesn't always happen. Sniper will take him down. Boom. The sniper gets really like over exaggerated slow mo. It's the worst when it That's hits awesome. or when it misses too. <laughs> it's just like boom and it misses and it's like great, now I gotta watch <laughs> the next two seconds of him reloading. <laughs> Move Murphy a little bit forward. Yes. Heading there now. On Overwatch. I'm on it. This game gets so much more interesting when you start to get equipment and Stuff I can imagine. I'm on the move. Like I, ha I can barely even remember playing games that were this kind of simple. Drop them. Damn it! I'm really tempted to check this game out. That armor is actually really cool. I like the uh, orange highlight. Mm -hmm. It's the best. They got me flanked. That was a sniper not gonna react to me. He doesn't have squad sight. Oh. Miss. Ooh. Oh. Is she down? No, no she's got one health. And they got a second shot. Oh, I don't know that exposed. I don't. Does your sniper seriously not have a shot from that? Can you throw a grenade? Doesn't matter who's down. Murphy got promoted. Oh, it says right there on the menu? Yeah. yeah. Oh shit, I didn't know that. Oh, oh killing zone. Oh, oh, sniper shot. Boom. Oh. Sniper shot. Oh. 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 Wow, yeah. Stupid you look. It actually kind of looks like the Spartan armor. Like the, the oh, yeah, she did it probably. Oh, oh, lucky. You gotta pull her back. Oh, yeah. I think Kawhi's gonna get taken down soon. That's an different cover. Scanning. 
I hate when that happens, where the, where the aliens is like, eh, your, your move again. I see it, Commander. I'll pass. What was that sound? So if you climb that ladder up on those crates, you'd probably be, be pretty exposed. You, 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 you might get one good shot off, but then, yeah, you'll be exposed. Because there's no cover up there. Yes, there is cover. Oh, okay. Yeah. I didn't see that, uh, those smaller blocks. I saw the pigeon, and I think the pigeon was going to be good cover. Good cover. Have you just spent this time reloading and cycling Overwatch? Yeah. Quiet. Did you hear something? Yeah, it's a really good strategy. Come Switch the pistol. I don't think I've ever tried to do that with a sniper. I just normally hunker or something instead. What's the damage ratio from the pistol? Up to three? Two points. You can you can critical on two though. It's rare, but it's up to two or is it guaranteed two? No, it can it tends to do one actually. Yeah. So why would you use a pistol? If you A are out of ammo and you need to take a shot, or B if you moved your sniper and you can't fire with your primary weapon. Yeah. Mm -hmm and you still want to take a shot. Basically, if you need to take a shot, but are unable to do so with your primary for whatever reason. changing weapons whatever reaction, reason. right? Yes. Yeah. You can change back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, as many times as you want. On Overwatch. 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 And pistols never run out of ammo. Yeah. I mean, they, never, they never need to be reloaded. They don't even need to be reloaded? Well, no. Well, there is no total ammo system in this game. It's just you have your magazine, and when your magazine empties, you need to reload. Yeah. But you have unlimited magazines. Cool. Like your pistol has an unlimited magazine itself. Yeah. Yeah. Man, they really don't want to move in, huh? What was that? Maybe uh, you should throw a grenade over there. Oh, what? Is there yeah. anything that increases the range you command on the grenades? No. Do you think there's still a group of enemies you have yet to discover? Oh yeah, yeah. They're over. Uh, they're at least. They'll be there are at least nine. Like here. He's killed this area. Oh shit! There's a whole section over there, huh? Yeah. I actually do like the LA of this map, though. It's got like that little upper area with the ramps. Yeah, no, yeah, no really it's actually well, this is a really cool a, map. It is a really good map. It's kind of like a I've had sure. some of the most interesting tactical battles, like this area here where you had this hill. It's really interesting tactically, especially because there's this whole area to move around and stuff and get close fighting, all the vertical fighting. This is a great map to have Archangel armor or the uh, grapple. I don't think, I guess, I guess since I have Archangel, I know I will probably never make the other one more. Yeah. I like ghost armor though, personally, for snipers, the best. <sighs> Considering it, but I, just, I currently can't afford it. It's a good investment. What was Ghost Armor do? Uh, like stealth? Mm -hmm. I've got my eyes on. Is it, is it like cloaking whenever you're in cover? Uh, no, it's cloaking anytime. It says only when in cover, but yeah, no, you can totally uh, cloak, man. Just like cloak actively. Huh. Yeah, I don't know what to do. Why it said only in cover. Maybe I just... So, so how, how do enemies ever see you and shoot you then? When the cloak wears off, you can only use it for oh. up to four turns. Oh, okay, so it's, it's, like, it's like the flight thing. Right? Yeah, yeah. Yes, so does this does the flight upgrade double the duration? Actually, I think it increases it to ten instead of six. I, I've never used it though. It's really expensive. Like copy. Yeah, advanced flight. Yeah, it's super expensive. Oh, my eye. Yeah. I 
Aye, Fairbridge. Yeah. So this, this is what you were referring to by your favorite part? Or, or is it when you first have yet to discover them at all? Yeah, no, this, this, the maneuvering and trying to like outthink them, prepare and stuff. Move with your sniper with, to no cover? No, it's just, I, I wanted to get them here, but I don't want to no. dash yeah. and let them know. Plus, I bet you will find someone and they will shoot at you if you go there. No, no, because I just, I just scouted it out. Okay. Location confirmed. So the other thing I'd like to point out, we were playing with Iron Man turned on, which means there is only one save file, and you don't manage when the game saves. It manages when it saves. Is it what after every mission? I think it, no, I think it's once ever after every turn. So your decisions are more or less final. Like if the enemies, if the enemy kills someone right now, that decision is final. I think if you were to just like quit the game right now, you could reset your singular turn. Like if you messed up, like oh man, I didn't mean to move there. Now that guy's super dead. I bet if you quit the game right then and there and came back in, you'd probably be able to redo that move. Oh okay. But I think it saves after every enemy turn. At least, if the, if, it, if the Iron Man works the same way that the autosave works, except with only one. Well, it makes sense that it would save after the enemy turn, because they would kill him, and then they would save him. Yeah, because yeah, the, the, the earliest that you can get control to like quit or to save or whatever is once it's your turn again. Yeah. There's something out there. Mm. Okay, now I'm kind of second-guessing. Because of the direction that came from, that totally could have been up here. Even though I want to say it's over here. We are going to find out. And this, so if this goes wrong, you're going to just back out? Back out? No, no, I'm not going to back out. This is just the way it goes. No, I mean, like, are you going to use your second move to move oh, back? Oh, yeah, definitely. Yeah, yeah, that's what I meant. Okay, okay. Let's cover it down. I feel Was that just Overwatch with the pistol? Yeah. Overwatch. Yeah. <sighs> Man, it's really stressful when those turns just come back to you. Oh, oh shit. shit! Maybe he's gonna run away. He's got a grenade now. Yeah, that's what's happening. That's what's up. You're gonna toss a nade? Yeah. It's gonna it's save just us. one, but yeah, it'll kill that guy. Are you hoping for the damage to the other guy? Can you destroy the ladder? Mm, so if no. you toss a grenade far enough, that still kills that guy, but destroys the ladder so the other guy couldn't climb back up. No, the I thing is, is you, that... Can you destroy I, the ladder? No, yeah. I, but I'm running a risk here by keeping my sniper here. The yeah. thing is, if I move, he could always move to assault, and I'm also counting on the fact that even though the other guy could still move up assault and hit him, this guy will be on point and able to use his sniper rifle rifle for the next shot. And he won't kill him. Exactly. The likelihood of him doing five damage is it's almost impossible. He, with his, he, they use plasma pistols. Okay. So even on a critical, most of his four. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they critical at uh, four, uh, five, four or five. Oh no, yeah, five maybe. Yeah, so five you could possibly still, still eat it. It's a risk I'm willing to take. Got it covered. Come get some. Moving on. Positive enemy contacts. So we're looking at three guys left now? Minimum? You need to hit your shot, bitch. Otherwise, you're probably dead. Oh, yeah. If he does it, that's a weight off my back. Okay, he did the... 
mind control thing. Mind metal. He's got. It. Oh, okay. okay. Well, have you played any multiplayer yet? Uh, no. I've watched some multiplayer. Yeah. It looks really awesome, actually. Playing as aliens looks like. Well, if nothing else, you get to learn what they are actually allowed to do. Position confirmed. And how far they can really move and what abilities they've got and stuff. I control. I controlled a. Uh, a Muton Elite today. Heading there now. Yeah. Yeah, I used him just I just I, I, I ordered him around like like the dumbest I just ran him into groups of enemies. Cause the worst thing I wanted is losing the mind control on him and then him turning back to an enemy. So I may I may as well get him gunned down by his own guys. While trying to kill them. Fair enough. <laughs> I really hope this doesn't incur probably well. What, uh, a reaction shot? shot? Reaction shot. But we are going to run that Solid risk. Alright, worked out. Three guys. He's gonna come up that ladder, I think. Yeah. Okay, okay. Can you take a shot? Yes. Fuck. Man down. <sighs> and who just panicked? Oh, you can't, you're such a. Oh, yes! It's a. Alright, Smurfy. Alright, alright, not so bad. Is she gonna get hit? Well, that sucks, you lost one of your... Yeah. Oh, one of the original four. That's good. Breathe into the bag, goddammit! Breathe into the bag! Aye, <laughs> aye, Commander. There now. Oh, watch. Aye, aye. Put him down. I'm about to start keeping score. I'm on the move. Oh, but you can go for a game ender right here. Do it, Mercier. Unbelievable, uh, you, you dude. You could have thrown a nade, I guess. Yeah. Then you wouldn't have got like the tech, right? Can you lob that grenade over that little That's water? I'm gonna try with this chick. Yeah. Survey says yes. I'll do it. That <laughs> bounces off the wall. <laughs> Extra bounce off your yeah. top. You did good. We took a casualty. We lost somebody on the first mission too, right? No, you no. saved everybody on the first mission. Everyone oh, lived. Shit. That's what I said. He was part of the original four. Commander to the situation. Assault heavy sniper. Fuck. I need less heavies, more assaults. The assault class serves as a frontline. Nice, I'll have any chicks to do assaults too. And the last one's out. Well, you got a sniper <laughs> to replace the sniper. Bravely wounded. Dude. That was your, that was white, right? What was the recovery yeah. time? 18, 18 days. days. So you basically don't have a sniper. Be in touch, Commander. Every member of the council is going to want satellite coverage. So we should plan our deployments carefully. See, United States gives you 180, Russia gives you 150. What does Canada give you? 100. 100 along okay. with United Kingdom, Germany, China, Japan, uh, Australia? I don't know, Australia's 60. 
uh, and uh, Nigeria. So as soon as you deploy the satellite there, they give you that money? Yeah, and then it takes a couple days for the satellite to come online so that you'll be able to detect, you, you won't be able to But you get, the, you, you, get a, you get a reduction in panic immediate. Yeah, two point reduction. I'm receiving you. So that's the thing, I usually wait until I need it to drop the panic of a, of a country before I put it in, except in the case of Russia and the US, because you need those huge, those funding boosts. So you need to build a satellite still, right? Several members yeah. of the council have expressed an interest in acquiring. But I've already started that. That was the first thing I did. However, the one thing I don't, the one thing I really don't get about this game is it, it, it takes absolutely zero effort to try to explain the great market at all. I'm still having a hard time grasping. Like if you didn't know it was there, you may never use it. What are you talking about? You can you can sell like corpses and tech that you've acquired and and stuff to the gray market in exchange for our currency. That's where a country can request something. I'll give you four, no, I'll give you that's four separate. for this margin body. Four that's separate where man. they say, we, we're, we are like researching something yeah. specifically and it would really help us if you could supply us with- A corpse. With three corpses, three, yeah. um, three sectoid, sectoid corpses, corpses or, whatever, or something, yeah. yeah. Excavating the um, top row only costs 10. Mm -hmm. oh, man, I, I'm, I'm, my excavation is like 40 right now. Yeah. I guess, I guess I'll be going to 50 soon. 80 at the bottom. Does that go down at all with more engineers or no. any country bonuses? No. <laughs> Experimental warfare is how you start to get better weapons, right? This technology has a number of potential applications. Yeah. I'm sure the science team is eager to begin. I'll notify you as soon as we have... So what's the first thing you're trying to, like, build? Uh, I'm gonna go for weapons this time, although I actually... Oh, no, I'm playing on classic, so I should probably actually be going for the uh, carapace armor. I expected that would be a priority reason. What does it do? I expected you were a bitch, uh, and I was it right. increases their health. Oh, all right, so no, we had a question, question earlier about whether there were interceptor battles, and you are about to officially get your answer. No. Yeah, no, this is not. No, not at all. We have eyes on the bandits. Engaging bogey. Boy, what a Galaga! Oh, skilled pilot. I like that sound effect. Yeah. Is that the sound of it? The interceptor or the UFO crash? Yeah, that's the, the UFO, right? I think so, yeah. We have confirmed kill on Bogey 001. I repeat, the UFO crash. A whole bunch of people are wearing track jackets. So it's gonna be. Ha ha ha! Nice. We just throw I like central guys, uh, it's like sweater. Yeah. <laughs> My grandmother knitted this. Magnifying. It hunts. Still in one piece. Commander, I recommend we get a strike team to the crash site immediately. Yeah, these are the coolest missions. So does using yeah, your grenades definitely. actually like destroy entertaining. stuff you could be collecting at the end of missions? Uh, yes. Yeah, is, is it like the less like stru structural damage done to the building during firefights the better? Uh, or does that, any of that matter? Like, you know, like blowing up walls wouldn't oh, destroy yeah, cover no, and not stuff? not at all. Not at all. Okay. Is the Canadian ready to go? No. Yeah, like, oh, he's having a virus fire. Yeah, no, he's uh, still wounded there. No, two days. You saw them in two days yet? No, it was five days earlier. Oh, I thought it was two days. No, it's two days now. It had been five days. Yeah, I thought it was an issue. So I've heard that if it's like, if, you, if you're like one day away from like a guy returning to duty, yeah. and you really need to take him on a mission, you can put it off like a day. You could just go back to standing for like a day, and the mission still sticks around. A little bit. But I'm not sure, I'm not sure I'd, I'd tell you to risk doing that on, a, no. on an Iron Man, because you can't undo that. Hey man, I had time to go back for coffee and donuts. Uh, yeah, you did. That's true. Are impossible, I might add. But that that did take up less than one day. The whole pro that back and forth trip was less than a day. Fair enough. It was like less than like three hours. It's 
for the bed. Uh, was it actually? Were you watching the clock? Because I yeah. thought it was more than three hours. Yeah, it was, it was like from 1 a.m. and it was like 2.30 when I got back. What's the currency symbol? Uh, it's that, it's that, it's that, it's that, like, double S thing, yeah. It's a circle. It's a hybrid of, like, yen and dollars. And Super dollars. And Got it. Ru rubles. Council currency? Sure. Whoa. Did anyone see that? The Her hair? Her hair just flipped around like crazy. Yeah. Yeah. That's, yeah. that's hilarious. Street Fighter, come on, do it. Yeah, I gotta do it. I always put chicks hair to this. I love that hairstyle. Like the butch chick kind of look. I guess that's, that's what, what you think. I see. That's why I all. see it. They're assault. I see. Well, like, well, so well, you yeah. clearly have never seen the Fast and the Furious. Well, holding the shotgun probably is biasing me too. Oh yeah. The big, big shotgun. So I just started using the uh, what's the best shotgun called again? The alloy cannon. The alloy cannon. That thing is a beast. Yeah. I realized if I wasn't putting at least one of, if I wasn't giving at least one of my assaults a shotgun, I guess I was kind of wasting the assault right here, but... Yeah, it's, the shotgun's pretty good. You just have to make sure you guys can get it close enough. It's too risky to me, because it's, it's generally like... Like, if you can just rush into one guy, yeah, that's cool and all, and it's like you rush into a room with like three guys, and one of them can mind control you, it's a little different story. This level looks really weird because of the fog of war. It's actually a really foggy level. So yeah, world, is there any difference between the PC and Xbox version when you're playing on a controller? Not really. Other than, like, aesthetics. Yeah, well, the game, the game runs smoother and it looks better for sure. Okay, so this is clearly the ship, like, right here. I don't know, I think it's big enough to also be like a quickie mart. Solid copy. Time to kick this off. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That's right. Stay outside of cover. Do me a favor. Engaging bogey. Oh, Are you in range? Yes, unfortunately. Do you have any assaults in your team? Yeah. Okay, so you got someone, so, ah, oh, so Murphy got, is, the, so run and gun is like one of the most useful abilities in this entire game. Oh yeah. That's the squatty one, is running gun? Yeah, wow. for, for assault, so yeah, awesome. every assault gets That's it. That's one for, yeah, yeah, no, yeah, no, definitely. No, it, it makes sense, otherwise shotguns would be useless. Yeah. Okay. If you did not have that ability, you would never, ever want to take a shotgun. Well, you can still, yeah, you can still take an assault rifle as an assault. Yeah, yeah, assault rifles are you know, for everybody. Oh, okay. Anybody can take an assault rifle. No, no, no. Only supports and assaults. Oh, really? Yeah. And rookies. Oh, okay. Really, huh? So, even though the guy as a rookie was trained to use an assault rifle, he suddenly forgets his training yes. and can only use his specialized weapon. Oh! oh. He just, like, do it? Yes? Oh, because he has four health in the mind now. Fuck. Yeah. Miss. Oh! Fuck. Was that one of the original four again? Yeah. It was one of the people that leveled up. Oh yeah, but that's the, yeah. He's got more HP, so he's actually relatively okay after all. Heading out. Krauses in the house. <laughs> <laughs> My professor Kraus. Kraus. What this? What this? I probably. Yeah, that's really starting to bug me, actually. What is? I affirmative. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I know. I affirmative. Yeah, there's, when I, a, there's a subtle uh, before. I'm pretty sure when I'm, when, I'm, when I'm commanding the guys around with the mouse and keyboard... Oh, you're done. You're done. I'm pretty sure they don't say anything when I move them. Hmm. And when I command them and stuff. That's really weird. I wonder Did if that's you have a soldier voice yeah, in Yeah, yeah. No, I, I specifically, like, well, maybe it's, like, inverted for some reason. I try to try turning it off. Still nothing. So I try turning it on again. Still nothing. I think it might be a bug. 
When you're using the PC controls, the you don't get the voice. Uh, Sarge asks, didn't you add med kits to the loadout? Have you even bought any med kits yet? Or researched them? Yeah, this guy has a med kit right here. Oh, okay. Buddy was clearly not watching. <laughs> oh, he's and he's the one who got injured. Yeah. Are you gonna use it on himself? Yeah. Reloaded. <laughs> oh, I think he's carrying the med kit. To heal someone else? Exactly. To stabilize, potentially? <laughs> That's for somebody else, it's not for you. <laughs> Heading to that location. Oh yeah, that's what I thought. To be fair though, I didn't see you put the medkit on, so... Well then, I saw you very, very rapidly research the medkit. There's no research. Well, you know what I mean. Oh, is the medkit free? Yeah, just, just buy it right away. That's the first thing. Yeah. I've got my eyes on. I guess that makes sense. We don't need alien technology to know how to make a medkit. Yeah, However, you do, need, you do need alien technology to advance the advanced med kit, don't you? Mm -hmm. You need thin man uh, interrogation, I believe. Only interrogation. Yeah, well, I got a question. When the uh, alien ship is down and there's that like blue force field ship, yeah, can you shoot through that? Yes. So you could like potentially like just fire a rocket in there. Oh wait, oh, what's the blast radius like for the rocket? It's pretty good, it's like a big grenade. The shredder rocket has double the the radius, mm -hmm. doesn't it? Really? Damn. Okay. So does the shredder rocket do more damage too? No. It may actually do less. But what it I'm not sure, it may either do equal or less. But what it does do is that for the rest of the turn, enemies go into this shredded status where they will take additional damage from anything else. By what? But additional one damage? Or? I don't know, I've never... Oh, okay. I, I, it, basically, it basically means any, anyone else will take... If you do damage, if you like take a shot with someone else at the same guy who's been shredded, mm -hmm. you're more likely to do more damage. Possibly even more than you could do like, maximum, but I'm not sure. So yeah, I, I am intently watching the chat, so if you got any questions or comments, um, you know, I'll pass it along. This, this ship is actually in, some, is in pretty rough shape. At such a velocity, the materials used in that vessel's hull must be at least an order of magnitude beyond any element we know of. Like what Wolverine's made out of? They have a man What was that? So, world, what do you think of an actual like invasion? I don't know, man. Go. Sorry, I'm gonna ask you to broaden your question a little bit. That's a little. <laughs> what oh, sorry, not, not broaden. To fine tune invasion. your question a little bit more. So, what do you think? I think it would be bad. Yeah, like, 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 what do you mean? Like, would it? That's too broad of a question. Like, I think it would be bad. Yeah. But, yeah like, like, like this kind of alien invasion? No. Do you think they would come in, guns blazing, and trying to like? Invasion implies guns. Invasion blazing. implies that they're attacking. Yeah. yeah. First contact. Implies. I don't think it would be so bad. Plus, if they were to come in peace, they would try to send a communication before they just showed up. Yeah, I think so. Oh, be that stupid. That dude be that cool. stupid hard charger that you are. Oh, what yes. the hell is that thing? It's cool. World? What the hell is that? They call that outsider. Just a teleport from outside. Of time and space. <laughs> that fucking stupid. Got a cover. I feel, Commander. Have they kind of like the assault pod? Heading to that location. A lot smarter than the average bear. He's not just rushing you, huh? Oh shit! Oh, yeah. Nice. Oh, that's good. That's golden. Oh dang. <laughs> he gets the hot However. However, now. Now he doesn't have a reaction shot. 
But he also has more health, and you can do damage in one turn. Or sorry, in one shot at least. No, shotgun can do five damage. Oh. Ah, oh, fuck. Oh. You might be dead. If you do not kill him, Murphy, you're probably dead. That looks like the primary power source for the alien craft. And it only has it a guess as to the amount of power it would have to generate to propel that ship. I'd watch your fire down there. That equipment could be highly unstable. Has that ever been relevant to you? No, Yeah, me either. Can you blow it up? I don't know. It's never, it's never happened. It's, I mean, like, you, you can't just shoot it. Like, toss a grenade. I really wish that in this game you could just decide to shoot at a wall or something. Because mm. then you could blow up cover and destroy buildings yeah. and blow a hole in something and create alternate routes, but you can only do that by accident. You can do that on the original Xbox. Fucking do it. Oh! oh my wow! God. Like what was the percentage on that? Four shot. Like. Fuck. Okay, okay, I think I can maybe handle this question. World will let you have answer after. Shadow asks, what is the craziest thing that's happened while playing this game? Um, oh, man. Okay, so the craziest thing that happened to me is I went into a large supply ship for the first time, a big alien supply ship. And I ran into, uh, I'm going to use terms here that may be unfamiliar with people who haven't played much XCOM, but that's just going to be the way it is. I ran into a sectoid commander and a couple mutons and a muton berserker. And I berserkers were still heal the guy that's got one health left, or just keep the one health guy. I would really like it if you'd stop telling me what to do. Yeah, I don't know what I'm talking about. Uh, the berserker was still relatively um, dangerous to me at the time. Like one of the strongest things I had fought. So I focused a lot on taking it down, and once I did, I was like, hey, I don't have a sectoid commander captured yet, so I spent a lot of yes. effort and my guy's health and stuff capturing the sectoid commander. And I'm like, oh, great, okay, that went really well. And then I'm like, oh, shit, this was just the first route. So as I progressed... What just happened there? Oh, wow. Like, what just happened there, man? That's shitty, man. That was fucking retarded, man. Like, literally, I go to heal the guy, and it just... Doesn't heal him. You healed yourself. You healed yourself. You have to select your target. I did. That's fucking goofed. Why could I even select myself? Because you were injured. Ah, uh, fuck. Whatever. You got that one dude who's mind controlling now. If you walk up and fucking yeah, die, but yeah. she doesn't have her running gun. I just used it. Well, yeah, yeah, it's supposed to throw a grenade, man. That's what I'll do. Yeah. Fuck. Anyway. I ran into, for the rest of that mission, I just kept running into worse and worse things from crystallids after crystallid to the first time ever seeing a sectopod, the first time ever seeing a muton elite, multiple muton elites. I just got trapped on a roof forever. I was just fighting for my life the entire time. I lost so many people that game, so many got injured. The mission itself wasn't the worst thing that's ever happened to me. It was the, the aftermath of having most of my good soldiers out of commission for days and days that more missions came up and I just lost so many rookies because that's all I could take on missions and, and they just got murdered. They just got fucked over and over again. And it took me, a, I, I got my first F on a, on a, on a uh, council report. No one pulled out or anything, but it was, it was real bad. World, you? Craziest thing that's happened to you in XCOM? Uh, yeah, on my crazy, it's not exactly crazy, but it's certainly the worst thing that happened was, um, I was playing my classic Iron Man, and I was like month five, I was doing pretty good, I just got plasma weapons, you know, I was about to get Titan armor, I could nice. go do the base, I was like, alright, I'm set, I'm doing pretty good, I, I thought for sure I was going to complete it on, on Iron Man classic. And then I did this mission. I don't, I, I don't know how you could say that by just being at the alien base. I, the first time. I so was feeling more. good. Like, okay, after okay. being able to make it through the beginning, it was, which was so yeah, hard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, anyways. Uh, really? I went I on this mission. Therapist armor. Yeah, no, but I want to get this done first. Okay. Uh, yeah, no, I hit... Uh, 
Fuck, I can't. Yeah, it went on a mission. I had ordered soldiers. I had been taking losses lately, so I ordered some soldiers. Oh, no, I and it was a couple days before the soldiers got there. I went on this mission with a bunch of my veterans. And the mission just went terrible right from the get go. The second turn, I encountered a cyber disc and a couple of mutons, and I was in a parking lot. And it was oh, just like, oh, we saw how bad parking lots are. Yeah, no, it was terrible. And I spent the whole mission trying to retreat and pick them off, but they were missing their shots left and right, my guys. Just like 70 shots, 70 shots, just miss, miss, miss. And uh, they all died. They got wiped. And then I only had three soldiers left. And it was like one day until my soldiers were arriving, and a terror mission popped up, and I had oh, three soldiers. So, so, so the the trick that I said may have may have actually worked for you there, where you could put off a mission for like a day and yeah, but it wasn't going to be a day because they were all still days out, and okay. so I had to skip the terror mission. And when I skipped the terror, how could it be mission, days out? I thought you get new soldiers after three days. Yeah, yeah. Oh, you had just ordered them. Yeah, exactly. Oh, okay. And so anyway. Um, I had to skip the terror mission. When I skipped the terror mission, South oh, Africa pulled oh, no. out, and I had already lost like four, and then I had another UFO, literally one day until the new soldiers were going to arrive. Okay, so that is a when you UFO could've... That's when you showed could've... up. That's when, like a landed one? Yeah, like oh, a landed okay. UFO, and it was like, I still had, only had three soldiers, and I had to skip it, and that sent panic over the edge, and then two countries pulled out at the council report, and it was game over. That one battle fucked me. Just because I couldn't get any new soldiers. Yeah, you know, that, that was the same problem with me. It wasn't so much getting new soldiers that I didn't have enough good soldiers anymore. Yeah. Like, the game was like, oh, so you think you're, you're hot shit now, do you? <laughs> Let's knock you down a few pegs. <clears throat> okay, so Europe's doing pretty well. North and South America is doing pretty well. Ghost Assassin asks, is this game worth a buy? And I'd say yes, yes definitely. Yes. Uh, I might get it soon. And, and not only if you are into tactical games. I am not that so much into tactical games, but this game is just really fun and really tense, and it's... I, I, I don't know, I, I haven't been as addicted to playing a game like, like, oh, I'll just play another mission, oh, I'll just play another mission, I'll just go to the next council report. Oh, but this just came up. I've never had that happen. At, oh, I've not never had that happen. I haven't had it happen in a long time. What should you be thinking about? Okay, politically, if I don't want to lose any countries this month, I have to do Asia. Otherwise, well, I will definitely lose South Australia. Is the, do the colors on the earth, like do when Russia's yellow, China's orange? Yeah, China, that's the panic level. Uh, that's prevalent. 